Saudi Arabia's notorious religious police, known as a Marawa, charged into a private prayer meeting of at least 53 Ethiopian Christian workers in early February and arrested them for praying in a private home. The arrests were made in the very wealthy Persian Gulf coastal town of Damam. Three of the Christian leaders, all women, were charged with seeking to convert Muslims to Christianity, even though no Muslims were present at the prayer meeting. The arrest of Christian guest workers in Saudi Arabia is a common event, and their treatment in jail is usually horrendous, particularly if they are African. Nina Shea, the director of the Washington-based Hudson Institute Center for Religious Freedom, told FoxNews.com that the U.S. government does not raise its voice in protest. William J. Murray, the chairman of the Religious Freedom Coalition, pointed to the Saudi support of terror organizations and the fact that 14 of the 19 hijackers on 9-11 were well-educated Saudi citizens as a reason for not ignoring the persecution of Christians by Saudi Arabia. Murray said although the United States now imports virtually no oil from Saudi Arabia, we continue to cower before the despotic, dysfunctional family ruling that nation. From his office in Washington, D.C., William Murray has spoken to numerous congressmen and senators and says he is baffled by their refusal to be the least bit critical of the torture of Christian workers in Saudi Arabia. He has now begun a fax campaign to Congress to demand a change of attitude and some actions to change conditions for Christian workers in Saudi Arabia. Murray said, Americans and their elected representatives must speak out against this Saudi evil. A free fax can be delivered to your congressman's desk asking him to speak out against the arrest and torture of Christian guest workers in Saudi Arabia. To send your free fax today, go to StopSaudiEvil.com.